Hello, my name is Adam and I am on the Papercut support team here in Portland. Today I'll be going over multiple personal accounts and how they can be used effectively within Papercut. First, let's talk about user account balances in Papercut. Users in Papercut have a built-in personal balance used to fund their printing which can be looked at as a sort of a printing bank account. In an environment where you are managing restricted users and their personal account is out of credit, the user can no longer print until more funds are added to the account. By default, users have a single personal account to store their balance, but this can be too restrictive in some situations. For example, it's often useful to have two separate personal accounts, one for free print quotas provided by the organization and another for cash payments, which they have personally funded, perhaps via a payment gateway. And this is where multiple personal accounts can be utilized. When multiple personal accounts are enabled within Papercut, a user has multiple accounts with credit available for printing. Each account is a separate pool of credit that adheres to the following rules. Credit is deducted from the available funds in the order configured by the administrator. If the designated account does not have enough credit, the next account in line is used until all of the credit is used. If a print job costs more than the total credit in all accounts, the job is going to be disallowed. From the perspective of the end user, little changes when multiple accounts are enabled. The total balance of all accounts is displayed in the user client, release station, and user web interface. Printing, quotas, top-up cards, and all other paper cut features work the same with multiple accounts as they do with a single account. You can even hide the fact that the end user has multiple personal accounts if necessary. So with all that said, let's jump into Papercut and see how to enable multiple personal accounts. To start, let's head to the Papercut admin console, click the options tab, then the advanced tab. From here, scroll down until you see the multiple personal accounts section and click go to multiple personal account setup. This will take you to the setup page where we can see this cautionary banner suggesting that you pre-plan and consider the manual before fully enabling multiple personal accounts. This should not be ignored as multiple personal accounts is considered an advanced configuration meant for specific balance uses like we mentioned before. Once an account is created on this screen, it cannot be deleted, though it can be hidden from the end user. The manual page can be accessed via the more information link here. Once you have thoroughly read through that section of the manual, check the box to enable. From here, we see a few different areas. The built-in default account is where initial credit is assigned and quotas allocated. We can click the Add Account to add a new account. A new account is added to the list with a blank description and default options for priority and overdraft. You can enter a descriptive name for the account. You can change this anytime, but we'll go ahead and call it Cash. Edit the account priority to change the order in which the account balances are used. Accounts at the top of the list, or with the lowest priority number, are used first. You can change the priority at any time. Optionally, you can edit the overdraft value here. This allows the account to go into the negative, so if the overdraft is set to $5, then the account is allowed to go $5 into negative before printing is disallowed. Repeat these steps, adding accounts as necessary. Just take care to add only the accounts you require as they will not be able to be deleted once created. When the accounts are configured as required, click the Set Up Accounts button. This starts the process of creating the new accounts for all of your users. You can see that once the system is done setting up the multiple personal accounts, the Admin Console webpage refreshes in the background and you are now presented with additional multiple account settings. These settings will change how the system makes use of the configured multiple personal accounts by telling Papercut how credit is allocated depending on the method. So for instance, we can set the payment gateway credit to go straight to the cash account since this is likely being funded directly from the user's own cash money. Once the settings look good to go, hit apply to save the changes. So now that we have set up the accounts, let's head over to the users tab, select a user, then check the balances on the user's details page to see what it looks like. As you can see, we have the built-in account, and right below there is now a section for other accounts, where we can change the balance for the new cash account. Once we've added the new balance, let's select Apply to save the changes. 
Now when a user is logged into the user client or the user web interface, they'll see the sum of all of their accounts and their print jobs will be charged per the account priority settings. And that is multiple personal accounts. Uh, you can find a link to the multiple personal accounts manual page in the video description. And as always, head on over to support.papercut.com to submit a ticket for our support team if you run into any issues. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.